Hello, 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 hello. No, no. This is not Pamela Anderson, it's me, I know. You were fooled, weren't you? Like, there's Pamela. And then I woke up. <laughs> well, actually, no, because Pamela didn't have um, golden, gingery blonde hair, did she? So, as you all know, I decided to do my hair, right? So, I've done blonde bits and brown bits and blonde bits and brown bits. However, it didn't come out how I wanted it. So, I just got the stripper and stripped it all back again. But, um, there's quite a few really blonde bits in it. Um, I don't know if you can see. But, then rips. Um, yeah, I mean... It's all right for now. I don't know what I'll do, but you know, I'm thinking what I might start adding a few more blonde bits in it. I'd like to try pink hair, like that light Barbie pink. Thinking, but anyway, how are you all? And you know what? I've done my nails right now. Listen, look at all the paint in there. Don't ask. Just don't ask and they're not my favorite set I've ever done I'm not going to show you in close up because you're going to see imperfections imperfections uh, you're going to see imperfections look they're nice and long how I want them but there is a few imperfections but you know what hey ho as long as no one's like literally scrutinizing them like that I should be all right and I'm going to have a whinge. I really am not well today. I know you're going to think I seem all right. Okay. I am not. I'm ill today. Very ill. I've got lots of pains. And the nethers is playing up. Very bad. But anyway, you don't need to know that. But I will tell you anyway. Anyway, I've got a charity shop haul for you today. Charity shop. Charity shop. i got a charity, charity, charity shop. But before... I do that. Oh, these ain't new. You might have seen them before. These are old reading glasses of mine, but um, they was in the drawer over there, and I thought, you know what? I can still use them because I can read from them. So I thought, then I can alternate. I can alternate from my black glasses to these glasses, all right? Yeah. Yeah, it's taken a bit into getting used to this barnet. But... I mean, what colour do you think it is? If anyone says orange, you're going to get the cups, all right? It's not orange. It might look a bit orange, but I can assure you it's not. It's more like a golden. Oh, strawberry blonde, all right? I want you to say orange. Get the cups. Excuse me. I've got tissue on deck, haven't I? I've got running schnozzer. Excuse me, you see me. Tell you what, in half hour doing it with these long nails. People will say to you, wouldn't they, when you're out, how do you wipe your ass with them? Things people ask you, and I'm like, are you wipe, the same way you wipe yours, do you know what I mean? You just cut the tissue like so, and start a wipe. Just make sure you've got enough tissue, though, because the nails can pop through the tissue, and you can get Nutella on the end of your fingernails, which ain't good for you, or anybody else, for that matter, all right? Um, oh, I also wanted to tell you. If I opened up my own nail shop... There's one down the road called Houston Nails, H-O-U-S-T-O-N. I could be, because mine are so bad, who stun them nails? My shop. Who stun them nails? I'm going to get a shop and call it Who Stun Them Nails. And you can get yours done with me. Instead of £80, like what I know some people are paying, get it cheaper half the price, all right? 20 quid, 20 quid. I'm going to do Who Stun Them Nails, 20 quid. Could you imagine? Anyway, before... I'll show you me haul. You know that time of day. You know that time of the day. It's time for my laugh on the loo with Lacey Lou. It certainly is. You want to do Patient. Doctor. Do you think I will live until I'm 100? Doctor. How old are you now? Patient. 40. Doctor. Do you drink alcohol? Smoke? Or have any other vices? Patient, no. Doctor, <laughs> then what's the point? <laughs> Very true. Did I tell you I was talking to a woman in the old uh, Audi across the way there? 90 years old, didn't have an ailment, 
I might have said it in one of my other videos. I'm not sure. She didn't have an ailment or anything at 90 years old. And she, she might, she's never smoked. But her husband was a brigadier. Am I saying that right? From Scotland. And she says she drinks whiskey and sherry every night. So there you go. All right. And she was 90 and sprightly. And when I told her about all oh, I had wrong with me, she went, I feel so bad for you, poor thing. I thought I feel bad for me too. Anyway, this is a nice joke. This is a long joke. Are you ready? A man walks into a bar and says, a oh, no, funny. I just, what I tell you? This is about scotch. And I swear I'll never see it. I swear. <coughs> so I'm keep getting... It's like my mouth. A man walks into a bar and says, a scotch please. The barman hands him the drink and says, that'd be five pounds. The man replies, what are you talking about? I don't owe you anything for this. A lawyer sitting nearby and overhearing the conversation tells the barman, he's got you there. In the original offer, which constitutes a binding contract upon acceptance, there was no stipulation of rumoration. Rumoration. Remuneration? Does that mean money? The barman is not impressed, but lets the man have the drink anyway. The next day, the same man walks into the bar. The barman says, I can't believe you've got the nerve to come back. The man says, what are you talking about? I've never been in this place in my life. The barman replies, I'm sorry, you must have a double. To which the man replies, thank you. Make it a scotch. <laughs> yes. Boomy nation. Don't tell me that weren't good. Don't tell me that weren't good. Anyway, you also know that time of day. It's time for my 1,227 facts to blow your shock stuff. Oh, yes, it is. I want to see them booby woobies going. It's very hard to turn the pages with these talons. I tell you, that's far. Right, you ready? A snowflake that falls on a glacier in central Greenland can take 200,000 years to reach the sea. Wouldn't it have melted? Oh, maybe not because it's on a glacier. Do you remember glacier's mints? Glacier... Glacier mints? Glacier mints. And they were see-through, like little rocks, like glacier rocks. They had polar bear on the front. Do you remember them? My nan loved them. The King James Bible has inspired the lyrics of more pop songs than any other book. Well, I don't know what the King, King James Bible is, to be quite honest. And so I wouldn't know what songs go... Uh, no, nah, I don't know. In 2001, ooh, we're quite close. The World Christian Encyclopedia counted 33,830 different Christian denominations. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know what a denomination is. I don't know. What's a denomination? I know people didn't land on the moon, but I don't know what a denomination is, all right? Jehovah's Witnesses do not celebrate Easter, Christmas or birthdays. I don't want to get into poli politics and religion and all that malarkey. So I'm sure people will say to me, Lisa, shut your gob. However, Jovis, funny bunch, aren't they? They don't believe in uh, blood transfusions and stuff like that either, do they? So if they've got like a child who's dying but needs a blood transfusion to survive, excuse me, I'm my mouth, they'll let it pass, right? Am I right in saying that? I'm right, aren't I? So that was 1,227 facts. Does still have a blown in if you're a Oh, yes, it is. Anyway, I've been to the charity parody, haven't I? Yes, I have. And I am, must say, I got myself a few bargains. Bargains. I got some bargains. Got some buggy, 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 buggy bargains. Oh, yeah. Right, so the first thing I got is this now it was marked up oh yeah right it was marked up for four pound fifty but she crossed it down to two pounds as you can see there because i said to her ellen that's a bit steep my love you know it's a bit it's just a bit of plastic although i did knew my moomoos would like it so it is a 
rabbit. It is a plastic rabbit with very creepy eyes. Look, look into the eyes, look into the eyes. Um, look at the size of them ear holes and all. My Shawnee ain't got ear holes that big. But then again, he's an Evelyn Dwarf. All right. This is like a normal rabbit. But it does remind me of my Shawnee. So I thought, right, I'll get that for Callie because she'll like it. And she actually does. I showed her. I said, can't have it just yet. Got to do a haul. But do you like it? She said, Mum, I love it. So I don't know where she's going to put it. But anyway, that's the first thing. So that was £2.50. Yes, it was. Anyway, for anyone who knows Molten Brown, it is bare expensive. All right? Bare expensive. But I do love a Molten Brown. Right? So I found this and I was like, oh, I'm getting that. £2.49. I'm getting that. So the whole set of Molten Brown, actually, I should have checked um, how much it's worth. But as you can see, £2.49. This was from Age UK. Sorry, this was from the Fertility Foundation. This was from Age UK. And it says Indian Crest Purifying Shampoo, a 30ml. Indian Crest Purifying Conditioner, a 30ml. Uh, then you've got Pink Pepper Body Wash, Bushuken, no, Bushuken Body Wash, and Ultra Pure Milk Soap. Now, come on. I mean, even if you wanted to give that as a gift. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm keeping it myself. But even if you wanted to give that as a gift. You can't. £2.49. You can't. You can't go wrong. All right. Anyway, then I thought, uh, I see this. And it's, it was for 99p. And it's just like, um, oh, would you like me now, Carbicons? Or whatever they're called, you yeah. know. Stuck them on myself. I've done them on myself, you know. I'm quite clever. But I didn't go so good as I tell John. I didn't, all right? You could don't want to look at that one. Look at the state of it. Oh, God. Anyhow, any hue. So I've got this mirror for 99 pence. 99 pentacles. And it's just a mirror there. Oh, look, it's double me. Um... Yeah, so that was 99p, and that was also from Age UK. Because sometimes it's nice to have a little mirror in your bag, in it? So you can have a little look, pad your schnoz bucket, or whatever you want to do. Uh, anyway, then I see this. This was in the Fertility Foundation as well. And um, it's just like a multicoloured necklace, I suppose. It looks like it might have come from... It looks like a Per Una, which is probably Marx's. Or something. I, don't, I don't know, I'm just presuming. looks like a Per Una. All these nice colours. So I thought, yeah, I'll wash that up. Nice. That was £1.50, I think. Yeah, it was. Because it didn't have a price on it. And I said, how much for £1.50? Yeah, it was £1.50. So I got that. Beads, beads, beads. Anyway, then I see these earrings and I liked them. And uh, listen, please, please, I must stipulate, yeah? If you buy earrings, now I'm not saying that people have got hepatitis and all that malarkey, but it is possible, all right? And so that's why you shouldn't actually wear other people's earrings. Don't look like I'll be wearing these anyway because they've something happened to them, yeah? Oh no, that's it. Um, but I see these earrings, and she said I could have them for a pound, and I really, really liked them. I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. Um, but what I'm going to do... So there's two ways you can do it. You can either take these off. They're not that hard to change. Take these off and put a new one on. So obviously the bit that's going in your ear has never been in anyone's ears. Or what I have done before and what I might do with these is I let them soak in lukewarm water. Luke Skywalker. Who remembers Luke Skywalker? He's from Turn of the Jedi and Star Wars. Anyway, um, so you put it in. I don't know why I said that. was because I was saying Luke Warmore. Anyway, so you put it in. It's at the deck, isn't it? So you put it in lukewarm water. Leave them in there for a while, however long you want. An half hour, hour, 45 minutes, whatever. Then when you take it out, pat them dry. And then you have to take the this bit here, like so. Hold it like that. And you are going to light it. You know, like with, with a, a candle lighter or a lighter cigarette lighter candle lighter a match whatever you're going to light it until it turns black there ain't going to be any germs on there after that and then just wipe it with a tissue or a wet tissue and you'll be all right um 
Yeah, even if there was hepatitis, which there ain't going to be, I very much doubt, it's going to be dead. So I've got them. And trust me, I should know about cleanliness, all right? All right? Anyway, now, I had a bit of bad news. So, the advent calendars that were meant to be coming to me, they never ended up turning up. You know, I wanted to do one like an advent calendar. Well, they never turned up. So I got in contact with the people, but what had happened, they'd had a glitch of something had happened anyway. So they said, do you want to order them again? Um, and we'll send you out some for free as well. But I said, no, because what had happened once I didn't get it off, I thought I've got all this stuff to do the advent calendars. And then I thought to myself, well, what am I going to put them in? So I did order some stuff from Sheen it's not come yet when it does I'll show you and in amongst that stuff what I've decided to do I've got a load of paper bags a load of paper bags right Christmas paper bags with stickers to go on the front then I thought I'll just individually put the stuff in from 1 to 25 I won't number it up they can just take a bag out a day so I thought so I need just some maybe cardboard boxes and I thought well this is brilliant someone had put two of these um poster boxes they're called and they was in the fertility foundation for 50p as you can see there so you see what i mean i'll show you just make it up yourself like that then i can chuck them all in there oh, i won't do it properly because I, if i've got to try and store the little shits oh excuse me language oh what have i done doofus oh that's it so yeah, so I've got two of them, maybe 50p each, to put uh, oh, some of my advent stuff in. Um, then I see this, let me do it up because it looks so pretty, yeah, so pretty. Because near Christmas time, um, I'm going to be doing some giveaways. I am going to be doing a big box of stuff. Um... Like it might have makeup, perfume, jewellery, all bits and bobs. That's going to be a really big um, uh, giveaway. And then I see this box and I thought then I can do a smaller giveaway. It was so beautiful. And it was only a pound for this box. So I thought that's so pretty. It's a brand new box. But I thought, yeah, so it's got a little pink ribbon on the front. So I th I'll show you inside. I thought, so I can do like a small giveaway as well. Um, look. What's that? Oh, it's just an uh, elastic. Yeah, so that's it inside. So I thought, yeah, that would be perfect to, to give the... So, because the big... Gig <laughs> Can't even speak. The big giveaway will be, you know, the Team U beauty box that I got. So that'll be the big giveaway, and then I'll do a little one in this one. It'll still have makeup, probably perfumes, bits of makeup, bits and bobs, but it'll be a smaller one. So yeah, so that's going to be for a giveaway. I thought that's fun, Dabby Um. Anyway, I bought this, uh, and I bought it from the charity shop, but I bought it specifically for a giveaway because when I see it I thought that's such a pretty necklace so it comes in this box um I do believe it was well not but I do believe I say it's brand new I'm not sure it's made by indulgence uh, I'm not going to show you the price tag well I'm not going to show you the price tag because I'm giving it away to somebody um it looks pretty new to me but I thought it was very pretty I don't know if you can focus Yeah, so it's like cubics and it's got like a little float, it's got floating hearts as they're called in the middle there. So I am going to be putting that, I don't know what box it will go in, it may go in this one with a couple of other bits. It may go in the bigger giveaway depending on what uh, stuff I've got, but that is for a giveaway. So as I said, I can't tell you how much that was, I'm not going to tell you because it's a giveaway. I'm not telling you, the why? One of you is going to get it though. Uh, and then last, oh no, not lastly, I'm lying. And then <clears throat> I see this from Keech. And it was £2, as you can see there. And I thought it's lovely for my balcony. So it's a shabby chic heart. So it's on a bit, it's a very big heart, look. As you can see then, it's got like these little 
elastic like bra things on with these little buttons and stuff but i thought that would go nice on my balcony so i've got that for my balcony um for two squid lines uh i keep saying there's uh, there's two more things i didn't realize anyway then i got these they were one pound 49 from age uk um and i might actually put these even though I didn't tell you the price of the necklace, I think I'm going to put these in a giveaway as well. Because they were originally £10. As you can see there. And they're from St. Evel. They're brand new. Look. Oh my God. That smells strong. Oh, I smell like I'm sitting in the garden. They are really, really flowery smell. Like fresh flowers. Freaking hell. Spring, oh, it's a spring flower. I swear to God, it smells like, it's very flowery, like flowers. I don't even know what flowers that would be. But um, if you like strong smells and overpowering smells, you're going to like them. Anyway, lastly, I see this cardigan and it was in size extra large and they put it down as a rib cardigan. It was 5 99 And let's go back a bit. It's like um, a grey ribbed cardi, cardi and I thought it'd be nice for like the winter and it's really quite long like ribbed and it's got like slits up the side but I thought that'd be nice with a pair of leggings like black top me ugg boots whatever so uh yeah so that's it so anyway let me walk back on my bum Let's go all the way. Let's go all the way. Um, you know what? Someone was saying to me, a few people have been saying to me, oh, you need to do more songs. But I cannot because unless anyone knows a way that I can put someone else's song on without getting in trouble because you can get done for copyright infringement and all that malarkey. So because it isn't my song. Now, I could sing. Excuse me. I could sing my song, which is my song. But I can't keep singing it over and over again, and over again, and over again. So I don't think you're going to be able to hear much of me all singing. So I thought, could I sing a whole song in acapella? And they said no to that as well. Um, not fair. I can't even do my singing now. And I had it all lined up. I was going to do a whole catalogue of stuff, especially 80s. No, I can't. <laughs> But, if anyone knows the way around it, please let me know. Um, anyway, I I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and my content. If you have, please, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and press the notification bell because it will tell you every time that I upload. Um, I've got quite a few... Well, I've still got a few over there I've got to do. I've got some team use stuff. I'm also waiting for a um, sheen order, which has got the paper bags in that I was telling you about. Plus, I have got a giveaway. I want to do another giveaway um, once I reach 900 subs, which uh, hopefully won't be too long now. I have got a beautiful jewellery set. It's a necklace and bracelet. Um... It is stunning. So I will be giving that away. So there's quite a few bits and bobs coming up. Um, so yeah. Stay channeled. Um, just like to say. Uh, stay channeled. Stay tuned you fool. Stay tuned. Or even chat. Whatever you want to say. It's up to you. But anyway. Um, I'd like to say thank you to my new subscribers. And of course my existing. I do love you all very much. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other's. Bye-bye.